Hello, welcome. Uh, today I'm going to show you how mortise and tenon, the long and short shoulder, and a, a haunch as well. So it's basically the joints, the top top corner of a uh, of a door or something like that. Make your own doors if you want to. Probably not. Probably probably not financially the the, the right decision. If you want to mess about uh, making making doors, then then this is this is for you. Uh, right. So going to need some tools. Obviously, I'm doing everything by hand, but you, you know you can you can use power tools if you want. Um, going to need a mortise gauge. Mortise gauge has got two pins. So what you can do is you can you can move. You can there's like a little thumb screw here. You move that, and you set the width of those two pins to the width. Uh, you also need well, you don't need a, uh, a mortise chisel, um, but if you look at the difference between the two. You can see there's a significant uh, different amount of metal. This one is designed to be as you're as you're hammering it in, you can waggle it about as well, and it won't bend. Whereas you, you can do a mortise with these, but what will happen is you'll you'll bend the shank just there, and so they're not designed for it. But you can do it. Uh, and then, obviously, um, a a tenon saw for for doing your tenons. Uh, I've also got an old bit. An old bit of timber that I'm going to cut in two uh, to make the, the, the two pieces of timber. Uh, I've also got a snack as well, which is quite nice. Isn't it? Avocado is very fashionable. Two pieces of timber, jobs are good. Aren't they? Right, as you can see, it's a little bit dewy. Um, so, right, I've got two pieces of timber, been planed, uh, planed all round. You can buy it from the merchants if you want and save you the job, but I just thought I'd show you that you can get timber to the right to the right size as you want to. Um, I've done a video on, on marking out and uh, and how you plane your timber to size. There's a bit of a routine and if you stick to it, it's, it's pretty simple. So anyway, now I'm going to mark out the mark out the joint. Right, mortises are generally a third of the thickness of the timber, uh, and you know most doors are about 40, maybe yeah 40, 45. So this is a 12 mil. This is about 40 mil. So this is broadly a third. So I, and it's it's the only one I've got. So I'm going to be using it. So there you go. Um, so what you do? Set. Your mortise gauge points to the thickness of your to the thickness of your blade, and I just do it off the actual chisel itself because then you know you're right, don't you? Rather than taking a measurement, you can check it's in the middle by just put some points in, flick it onto the other side, and if they land in the same points, you're central. So that's central. Right, so what I do is I take the rebates out, I take the rebates out first, then I remark, then I do the tenon and the, the tenon and the mortise.
one more to this. So I've always come from it from both sides, so go halfway through or, or however far through you want, but don't break through the other side because you'll, you'll split it. And then I'll, uh, once I've uh, started it off, then I'll then we'll use the bigger chisel. Really good bench is good for this because because my bench isn't really solid enough. It's the truth now whether you've got it right. Put the tenor touch a touch fat because you never know. Right, and as with any shoulders, mark mark the line with a marking knife first and then you'll get perfect. Gives you a crisp edge, and it also gives you a guide for your for your um, for your saw. Right, will it fit first time? Probably not. So there's a touch of a gap there, and no gap, well, broadly no gap there. I think that would pull in. I'm just gonna just, just shave that touch off there. Right, so, there you go. So I've got this shoulder right. I've got that shoulder right. Now on the end, I'm just going to pop some wedges in, a bit of glue wedges, glue it up, and that is that, and that's the top of a door, or casement, or anything like that. That is the top of a door, isn't it? You can tell, you can tell that, can't you? Right, let me finish it off. Right, it's also good to finish the insides before you glue it up because it's very difficult to get to. Get a bit of block, a bit of sandpaper.
So what you can see is that when, because we've already sanded the inside, it'd be a real bugger to get into there once it's finished. But now it's now we've done it, we don't have to touch it. Long shoulder, long and short shoulder, haunched and wedged, mortise and tenon joint, and wedged, mortise and tenon joint. Um, it's the traditional way of doing sort of doors and casements and stuff like that, but it's quite a long winded method, but it does look nice and you know, not that difficult to make either. Right, thanks very much, and if you like what you've seen, then uh, hit like and subscribe.